Hey guys, it's Rubes here. Today we're getting straight into this Time Spiral Remastered Booster Box. This has been one I've been looking forward to opening for some time. Um, I found it for an awesome price, so this only cost me 255 New Zealand dollars, which is well below market, I believe. Uh, one of the local game stores here in New Zealand had a nice Easter sale, 15% uh, off, and we are going to see if we can beat the box. The goal, as always, is to open more than what we paid for the box, with cards valued at one New Zealand dollar or more. This set is brilliant, and I'm so excited to see what we can find. Um, I have opened a box of this before, before the channel, and it went really well, and I'm hoping we can replicate that today. Our first rare is Thelon of Havenwood. Then we have Become Immense. Sweet, sweet pump spell and a foil stronghold rat. So we're going to find the rare and we are going to find one of these time shifted cards. So these are cards that weren't originally printed um, from Time Spiral Block, which the this products come from, but they've reprinted them in the old border. So hopefully we can find some sweet hits in there. I think Chalice of the Void even might be one of those cards. So I'm very excited, haven't pulled that before. Other hits today, what do we want? Gemstone Caverns, Urborg. And I'm sure there's a few that are escaping me, but let's see how we go. Muragander Petroglyphs. We've got a Wastes in the Old Border and a Foil Heartwood Storyteller. So foil rear to start us off. Not sure how many we're expected to see, but what we are expected to see is one time shifted card in a foil. Those have some pretty crazy multipliers on them, so hopefully we find the right one. That is gonna be a big part of whether we beat this box today or not, I think anyway. Karavik the Merciless. And we've got Grenzo Dungeon Warden. This seems to be the most fondly remembered remastered set. I know it's only the third one, but people seem to really have enjoyed this product, perhaps because of the price point when it came out. It was pretty reasonable. I know now I said it has crept up somewhat. Dryad Arbor, that is a very good rare. Awesome card, very useful in quite a number of situations. And a Rakdos charm behind it. So we'll put... Semi-valuable cards there. Unfortunately, wherever this was printed is one of those real rough, kind of dry feeling cards, not the nice, smooth, glossy ones. So, would have preferred that if we could have, but hey, you can't always know. I guess you can if you check where the product was made. Mangara of Corridor. And a Thraven Inspector. I could be wrong, but that 8 token may actually be worth a little bit. Because they reprinted Pongify in this set, which is a pretty valuable uncommon. So maybe that 8 is a little bit, we'll take anything. So there are a few commons and uncommons in the set that are worth a dollar or more. And if I do skip over them, I will do my best to tally them up at the end. And we'll add that to the total, because that might also be what we need to help us get to the target, Extripate and Lava Spike. In terms of value, we are off to a pretty slow start. So let's see, let's see what we're gonna find. Dune Rider Outlaw, Rebuff the Wicked, Molten Slag Heap, Vincer, Shaper Savant, a Time of Need, search a library for a legendary creature card, reveal it and put it into your hand. So it's like Sylvan Scrying for legendary creatures. It's pretty sweet. And a foil Urza's Factory. Temporal Isolation. Enslave. Shivan Sand Mage. Pongify. There we go. This is, this is going down here. Uh, we have a Pact of the Titan. Flicker Wisp. Sapperling. So I think 
The full pack cycle was reprinted in this set, but I believe pack to the negotiation has to be the only one worth a little bit. Slaughter pack used to be, I don't think it is now. Sulfur Elemental, Salt Field Recluse, Jaya Ballard, Task Mage. This was kind of like the OG Planeswalker card, but it wasn't a Planeswalker card in the sense that it has three different modes. That's how people felt about it. And a Bloodbraid Elf, cool. Prodigal Pyromancer. Oh, yes! That's what we're here for. Okay, okay. All right, we found the gemstone cabins. I think that's the best of the set, guys. That is brilliant. Thank you very much. I need one as well. Oh my gosh, and a Mull Drifter and an Insect Token. Wow. So that just went from zero to 100 really quick. Best Mythic already. Already on the table. Lost Oromancers, Sudden Death, Hive Stone, a Harvester of Souls. So for those who might not know about Gemstone Caverns, the reason it's so good is you can play it as like a pre-game action to essentially get you an extra mana uh, on turn one. So you get a two lands, however the drawback is if you play it any time after the pre-game action, it, it, um, it doesn't do so much. Stone Cloaker and a Cloud Key. And Secret Plans. I don't know whether this card see um, much more use in Karlov Manor with some more face down cards, but I can't imagine it's doing too well. I think there's a sliver card in this product as well. That's that's the other really big mythic. Would be very nice to find. Fungus sliver, there is a sliver, and Tide Hollow Sculler. Deep cabin of foil also. Not having much luck on the time shifted cards. There's you know a fair few thoughtsies. Can't think of any more. <laughs> I promise you there is. Um, Simeon Spirit Guide, not sure if he's worth much, but useful to have. Riptide Pilferer, Harmonic Sliver, Imperiosaur, Sedge Sliver, and Liliana's Triumph, Soldier. Brine Elemental, Harmonize, decent, Shivan Meteor, a Chroma's Memorial, nice, I think that's a little bit, I think, uh, Dismember is a pretty good removal spell, I think that's a little something, okay, nice, a Chroma's Memorial says creatures you control have flying first strike, vigilance, trample, haste and protection from black and red, so you can imagine slamming that down on a big board can be Pretty game changing, even better if you can find a way to cheat it in Lightning Axe. Keen Sense, Wipe Away, and Stuffy Doll, classic, on the boosters, a Manifold Key, Griffin Guide, Life and Limb, Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, so I think this is a mythic um, time shifted, unfortunately, the symbols are all the same, and Foil Rare is Miri the Cursed, poor Miri. Skittering Monstrosity. Clockwork Hydra, Croson Grip, Coalition Relic, a Knight of the Reliquary, man are we 
how close are we? Nah, I think we're not halfway yet. I think we've got to got to do some work. Fingers crossed. Prodigal Pyromancer, Nightshade, Assassin, Care Keep is a real land, and we have a Sigil of the Empty Throne. Crazy card in Enchantress decks. I'd say we're about halfway, so Urborg, I summon you. Please come to me. Mystical Teachings, Yevamaya Dryad, Conflagrate, Tombstalkers our rear, and Exquisite Firecraft. Return to Dust. I think the foil time shifted cards in here. I think I saw a flash of it. Sarah Avenger. Zealous Conscripts. Nah, I'm actually wrong, it's not. And Riddle of Lightning. Got my got my hopes up. The dreams like the Foil Ponder or the Thought Seas or the Chalice of the Void, that would be absolute insanity. I'd be I'd be over the moon if we found that. Sliversmith, Shape of Parasite, Magus of the Future, Disdainful Stroke. How many have we got left to go? What's that? Five, four, and five. Fourteen. So we are almost two thirds of the way through the box. It's further than I thought. We're definitely going to need something special. Orcish Cannonade, Core Dirge, Cryptic Analid, Rough Tumble, Rough and Tumble, Life and Limb, Stinkweed Imp. It's a dread jewel start. Fire more Carvu, Aven Mind Sensor, Swarm Yard. We're finding all the rare lands today. Restoration Angel, a Foil Sinew Sliver. Maybe that Sinew Sliver is actually worth something. I know Foil Slivers like Foil Elves and things like that all have a little bit of extra value, but I guess probably more in its original printing than this one. Bonded Fetch. Calciform Pools, Scrib Ranger, awesome card in my elf deck, love it. Uh, we got an Angel's Grace, a Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. We've only found two Mythics from the main set as well, so I'd like to think we've still got three hidden in there to go. All the juice has gone to the bottom, maybe. Utopia Micon, Lotus Bloom. Talran Sky Summoner, boo, Talran, boo, and a Foil Whip Spine Drake. Penumbra Spider, Slithersmith, Shape of Parasite, Outrider in Core, Ith High Arcanist, Shriek War. Salt Blast, Storm Entity, Heartwood Storyteller number two, Relentless Rats, okay. Whoa, there it is. These are so freaking beautiful. Holy moly. We've got a Foil Mull Drifter. Wow, I'm not sure if it's worth much or not. It's not one of the chase cards at least, but that just looks so freaking cool. Oh man, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'll put that over there. Well, there we go. That's that. So that kind of sets the trajectory for the rest of this opening. We've got plenty of work to do. At least it's a playable card. At least it's a playable card. That's all I'll say. It's not It's not secret plans. Uh, Pendlehaven Elder. Sulphur Elemental. Nether Trader. We've got Fibblefit the Lost. Poor guy. We are down to our last seven. Still only two mythics from the main set. Very interesting. Smallpox. Lanoir Mentor. Urza's Factory. 
Pact of Negation. Yup, yup, yup. That's good. We like that. We can finally add a card to the, <laughs> the OK Rare file. Mirror Entity. Let's sort that out. Fungal Reaches, Lightning Axe, Ratter, Air to Kells, got Remand. Oh boy, we started off real nicely with the, with the Gemstone Campus, but to come back in five packs is a tall, tall order. What's it gonna be? Dread Return, Hench Fiend of Ukor, Reiterate, Feather the Redeemed, could it be a two mythic box? Like regular set? That would be crazy. I don't think I've ever heard of that. So we're expecting these to all these last packs to all be mythics. Alright, Rift Marked Knight. Arc Blade. Wheel of Fate. Okay, so we did find another mythic. Monastery Swift Spear, classic, and a stone cloaker. Wipe away, a premature burial, Singir Nosferatu, and Containment Priest. Nah, I hate to say it guys, I think we are going to get completely blown out by this one. Unless I'm way off on how much I think that Moldrift is worth, that, that would be a different story. Mycologist, Joda's Avenger. Walk the Eons, Solemn Simulacrum, and we are down to our last pack. Man, what has it got to be? It's got to be like the Sliver. It has to be. That's the only way. It's the only answer. Sliver with a foil Urborg behind it. Let's say that. Let's call it. All right, that's what we're doing here. Let's go. Let's get it done. Haze of Rage, a Draining Welk. And a Beast Whisperer. Wow, there we go, guys. Heck, even though we are absolutely blown out, stoked we got the caverns. Foil Muldrift is awesome. I had so much fun. Thank you guys for watching this and opening this with me. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Like if you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.